Let's do this. There is one thing that every single creator out there has in common. Now I guarantee that whatever you are passionate about, maybe for me it's sneakers, or for you it could be cars, food, whatever it is, I guarantee that there's a specific brand that comes to mind whenever you think about your passion that you would absolutely love if they reached out to you and hired you to create content for them. So whether you're talking Ghost or Nike or honestly any brand out there, one way to kind of close that gap between you and that company working together is to build up your portfolio a little bit more. So I highly, highly recommend you guys to build up your portfolio by just making like a fun spec, just practice project. But take it seriously, build your portfolio up. And then also if they're a smaller brand, you can send it to them and say, hey, you know, this is the type of work I would love to do for you guys. This is what I think I could bring to the table. If this is something you guys are ever interested in, please reach out to me and I'd love to collaborate collaborate or work together. So good. So that's exactly what I decided to do with Ghost. So a few months back, kind of the perfect opportunity came to be me and another fellow creative here in Columbus. We had this idea of making this kind of spec ad piece for Ghost Energy, talking about how I personally use it as a creative just in my everyday life. So I thought this would be the perfect chance to share this little ad piece with you guys that we just decided to do for fun. It kind of builds onto all of our portfolios and who knows where it could lead for the other guys and also myself, you know, wanting to be someone that works with Ghost as a, you know, influencer or content creator. So I am stoked to share this video with you guys and to go along with it, I made a little behind the scenes vlog of the entire day. And don't forget, if you want these jobs and you want these opportunities, Go out there, work for them, build up your portfolio, and you never know what could happen next. Enjoy this video. My name is Johnny Hoxteller. I'm a full-time creative, and I have a YouTube channel as well. Over the past year and a half, I've just kind of explored the idea of creating different types of videos. It's kind of just been a really interesting experience for me to have I don't know, I guess just like my own space and doing my own thing because I'm used to being like on full sets or like big productions where you have, you know, everything from catering to production to grip, you know, everything. I feel like any type of creative, they know that like we kind of run on caffeine, whether you're at like a shoot with a call time of 5 a.m. or like you're on set till 3 a.m. in the morning. It's just always become like a known fact, like you have to have caffeine on set or during a shoot or like, especially if you're editing late at night. Over the last couple of years for myself, it's just something that I use on a daily basis. And then when I kind of started my YouTube channel, it became almost like a character for my channel to like what I was drinking that day. So I would like, I bought a mini fridge from my office. I would like crack open a can at the start of a video and I would like say what I was drinking that day and that just kind of became like its own little character. The thing that I really like about Ghost Energy, one, the branding on it is sick, which I'm a big like sneaker head. I'm into like streetwear and all that kind of stuff and it just kind of fits perfectly with my aesthetic and what I like to rock. But also the formula is really important as well. So Ghost was one of the first brands in the supplement industry that had a transparent label. And that's kind of why I was attracted to Ghost in the first place, because not only does the stuff look cool, but also just having that transparent label. Um, not only does it show that you can trust the brand because it's legit, but also um, I like just knowing what I'm actually putting into my body as well. So for me, I think the whole point of why I do creative work is I found it to be really fulfilling. I don't want to just do work that's kind of brainless for me. I like being challenged and you're definitely challenged with creative work. You have like the highest highs and the lowest lows. It keeps me on my toes and no two days are ever the same, that's for sure. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today is gonna to be a unique video. I'm actually headed off to a shoot here in just a couple minutes, but today's shoot is gonna be a little bit different than a normal shoot for me because I'm not gonna be the one actually filming. I'm actually going to be the talent today. So getting out of my comfort zone a little bit and I figure I'd bring you guys along with me. Should be a fun video. So I'm actually just packing up my camera bag, which is funny, I'm not really using. It's going to just mainly be props. I'm filming on the Canon EOS R5 right now with the 15 to 35. I have my Canon R in here, a couple lenses. Uh, I gotta pack up my M1 MacBook here in a second. This, that'll make more sense here in a minute. And then here are some props that I'm bringing along with me today. Some sneakers, some energy drinks. Um, and actually today's video is extra special because I'm finally, busting these out. I'm gonna wear these today. Sorry if I'm talking quick, but I gotta get rolling. 
So let's pack up the truck. Do not want to be late. We got the truck loaded up with a bunch of stuff. I got a little caffeine with me. Let's get it. So I just pulled up to the studio. I'm supposed to be on set here in about 15 minutes. So I might have to do some shooting and then I'll try to show you guys kind of around and fill you in a little bit about what we're doing. Yo. What's up, dude? Operating this camera right here. This is actually perfect. This is what I was looking for. Okay. It's a 300 bucks camera. <laughs> yeah, it's only like a couple bucks, no big deal. This is Drew the man. What are you today? Grip, PA, everything? BTS, a little bit of everything, a little swing. That's what's swing, up. swing. Alright, so Luis is the one putting on this whole shoot right here. Why don't you fill uh, us in what's going on? So we're filming like a little story brand film for Ghost Energy. Known Johnny online for some time and I've always seen him repping Ghost and talking, you know, hyping him up, talking real good about him and had the opportunity to want to put something together because I feel that Ghost, they, they kind of cater now to like a lot of esports, gamers, streamers and also, you know, like the athletes, bodybuilders in the, in the, in the fitness community. And Johnny kind of embodies a, a little bit of both of that. You know, with everything that he does in a creative space, I just wanted to be able to highlight that and, you know, tell a story and looking forward to piece it all together. Yeah, cause this is sick. We just set up this little scene, like this is my desk sitting here being creative working. We had a like sit down interview type thing a little bit ago. Um, then just getting some B-roll and some other shots. So this is actually gonna turn out sick. It's way better than I expected. I brought a few props from my office. You guys might recognize, but that's just sick, man. Yeah, can't I, wait. I think like that, that very, like all the different props tied everything in together. And like, I, it made it feel like, you know, like actual home studio. So I'm, yeah. I'm excited about that. Well, it's cool. Cause I feel like sometimes I talk about like, sometimes like you need to like make shoots up almost, you know what I mean? Like you don't have to have a job necessarily all the time. Like it's like, we want to make this type of content, like just, Make it. Make it, you know what I mean? It was just an idea of like, hey, you know, had this product, you know, thinking of wanting to do it. And, you know, it really turned into, you know, them pushing me like, hey, let's actually make it. Let's put it together. Let's make it happen. And here we are now. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really, uh, I think it's really important to, you know, if, if you have ideas, like really try to make them happen. Because, you know, if you don't do anything with them, they'll just be ideas. You're about to fake me vlogging. Tell me when. On you. Okay. All right, cool. Uh, what's going on guys, blah, blah. Uh, you know, having a good time, just making words up, because what else do I do? Nothing. I think that's pretty good, guys. <laughs> cool. cool. Yeah, I think once with the 35, that's the one's really good. Got that 35. I think so too. Josh, what camera are we rocking today? This is the, uh, you want a serious answer or a joke? I'll give you serious. Uh, we're rocking the Red Scarlet Weapon something something. They have like 30,000 different cameras, so I probably got the name wrong. It's like an epic dragon monster. Uh, but yeah, it's a cool camera. It has frame rates, ISOs. <laughs> At least 720, right? There's 720K in this for sure. Yeah, it's... Is it, uh, the higher, what is it, the higher... Uh, higher ISOs. Higher ISO, the better quality. Yeah. That means, that's what that means. I usually shoot it, shoot at 10 million ISO. Holy sh... Philip Bloom taught me how to expose. The layout of this place changes almost week to week, basically depending on the project that is going on. But obviously this front space here, which we turned into a studio today and a faux living room studio for you. So obviously you've got the front loft area here, um, which doubles over as like meeting space. Um, I actually do my podcast out of here as well. Um, and then obviously shooting space. So front lounge area here, down this way, there's actually like a changing room and shower, everything in one. And then we get into here, they've got like full kitchen layout in here, which comes in handy for many things. And honestly, we've, uh, we've started shooting a web series cooking show out of there too. Oh, so sick, yeah. We've even made double use. So this has kind of been a mix of like a little bit of a meeting area, but mainly like the main production bay of kind of the whole studio space. So there's a whole editing suite in here. So that's like the editing bay, all the goods in there. Then over here is just a secondary office. And then back here is kind of a, this, this has basically become the 
toss every all the random stuff back here. I love it. We've got like a production racks, backdrops, all that sort of stuff. But so what exactly would you say you are other than, you know what I mean? Yes, so normally I always direct our projects. So in this case, this is a project that Louise brought to us. Um, so today, for today's sake, I'm playing the role of assistant director and kind of head of like creative. So essentially like Louise brought this project up to me and he was just like, hey, like I've got some basic ideas, you know, I've got kind of a general like creative direction that I want for this commercial, but I really want to figure out like what kind of actual content we can make for it, what we can really get out of it. So stuff like this is where I get super excited. Like the art direction is where my eye always really goes. That's what I really focus on a lot. So I feel like we got to like really just have fun with this production mm -hmm. and like making this film happen. So yeah. This place is huge. Yeah, thank you. See you guys. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed seeing a little behind the scenes of that entire shoot. Like I said, I think it turned out sick and it's kind of funny seeing myself in a video, even though I guess I see myself in a video all the time on my YouTube channel, but you know what I mean, it's a little bit different. But the thing I'm really trying to hit home here with this video is that if there's a specific company or brand that you really wanna work for or make content for, Absolutely no one is stopping you from picking up your camera, grabbing a couple friends, maybe your significant other, and going outside, shooting for a couple hours, making some sick photos or videos. Maybe a new shoe drops, so you're making a fun ad for that. Or maybe you're a designer and a restaurant's opening up down the street. You could throw together a new website for them, a new menu design, a new logo. Honestly, any brand you think of, I guarantee you there's some things that you can make content based around them, build up your portfolio, reach out, and you just never know what could happen. So guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and maybe you're able to take something away from it. And I'm telling you right now, you shoot some stuff for some brands, you never know what could happen. And I'm telling you right now, I'm coming after Ghost and working with Ghost Energy at some point. We'll see what happens. And I hope you guys can kind of pick out a brand and maybe you can do the same thing for yourself. So guys, if you did enjoy today's video, will you please drop it a thumbs up? If you're new around here, consider subscribing. It helps out me and the channel more than you can even imagine. And I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace guys. And a special shout out to Luis for kind of putting this whole project together. Our crew, Drew, Ross, Josh, you guys all killed it and I can't thank you enough. I will link them all down below so you can check out their content, show them some love, and don't forget, if you pick up some ghost energy, let them know I sent you. Later guys.